Hi guys, it's Summers here, coming at you with another car analysis. This time based on what we've seen when the Alfa Romeo Racing C38 rolled out for the first day of testing. Of course, we're already super hyped for the car, having seen the spy shots from the shakedown in Furano a few days ago, especially given the aggressive nature of their front wing design. So let's just start there, with the C38 showing off a very aggressive outboard design to their front wing, with the flaps drooped down to the bottom of the end plate in order to try and push as much airflow as possible across and around the front tyre. This outwash effect is magnified by the raised leading edge of the main plane, which exposes the two underwing strakes and an inner foot plate on the lower edge of the end plate. The end plate itself is skewed outwards, perhaps at the maximum tolerance of the new bounding box that's put in the rules to try to reduce this effect, whilst the outer foot plate will create a vortex that will pull on all of these aerodynamic structures. The team have also gone down a different route when we look at the design of their flaps, as rather than have five full width flaps, the uppermost flap only has a short cut into it, which will help to roll up the vortex created in the Y250 region below. On top of this they have an interesting curled edge that will create an adverse pressure gradient the higher the angle that the flap is run at, further enhancing the Y250. Their nose is a continued development of what we saw from them last year, with a clamshell like design used between the thumb tip and wing pillars in order to create a duct that can drive airflow straight out and under the nose. The team have also adopted a central duct for 2019 though, taking inspiration from Red Bull and McLaren who have similar designs, and which look to make the nose tip disappear from an aerodynamic perspective. Having used the raised front suspension layout in 2018, the team have not moved away from it entirely in 2019, but have almost a halfway house solution instead, mounting the wishbone around halfway up the upright extension and rather ingeniously using the rest of it as a flow diverter. I see this as a clever piece of thinking from Alpha, as they switch to the Ferrari style periscope side pod inlets, so they're kind of having their cake and eating it like no other. A well positioned front suspension layout that ties in with the height of their side pod solution and a nice flow diverted to boot. Kudos to them. The aerodynamic surfaces around the chassis, barge board, side pods and floor edges are all very similar to last year at this stage, but still complement what they've done with the pushed back and periscope side pods. However, they've also took a cue from Red Bull, and one we've seen already on the Renault and McLaren during the launches, which integrates a winglet to the top surface of the side pod that flicks up in order to create a streamwise vortex. Underneath the main side pod inlet is a much smaller one, likely just used to cool the electronics house within the bottom half of the side pods. Their airbox remains a chunky but purposeful multi-inlet arrangement, which folds back toward a more conventional engine cover that predates the shark fin style ones used during the hybrid era. At the rear of the car, the rear wing end plates are furnished with five strakes in the transition region, all of which follow the curvature of the main surface, rather than sitting on the outer edge of the bounding box like we've seen almost everyone else do. As per the solution tested by the Works Ferrari team in Germany last year, and also ran by them and Haas this year, Alpha have their wastegate pipe work mounted one above the other, over the top of the main exhaust outlet. The C38 appears to be a very nice little package, with some very well conceived ideas being able to be brought to fruition, probably due to their requisite budget increase. Their now expanded technical partnership with Ferrari will solidify their chances of scoring well, as I suspect they'll find themselves amongst a batch of cars that appear to be fighting at the front of the midfield. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more Formula 1 content.